Just finished the. Are you sure? Huh? Yes. You just, just finished the revenue. Well, you just told me to take a break. I didn't say that. That's what I thought of her. Okay, no. jail and house of correction. Sit down. It's not a break. You was you know. I already took my kids. Move to jail sixty six four forty four. There's a motion by Representative Chandler to approve sixty six four forty four for the jail and house of correction. Is there a second? I'll second. A second by Representative. Should we vote on the? We did on the Knox, we did on the registry, and we did on the sheriffs. We are now doing it for the jail and house of correction. Representative McCarthy, the question. Yeah, on the house of correction, I don't see Jason, and he leave for us. Um, there was an increase of 40,000 on nurses, and I just wonder what that was for after we, after we paid that $50,000 for the contract for those two individuals. Where are you in the revenue? Yeah, You're on the yeah, expenditure. He's on expenses. Oh, you're still on revenue. We're on yeah. revenue. We're all down the jail. We're on revenue. We're all down the jail. We're on revenue. Okay, we're on revenue for the jail and house of corrections at 6644. Any other questions? All those in favor Wait, say aye. Who made the motion? Representative Chandler moved. Representative Schmidt seconded. 66444. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Opposed? Nobody in the negative. Five, move 128, five. Okay, there's a motion by Representative Chandler to move the five. My motion. And that's a representative. I'm sorry, I yield to Representative Babson. <laughs> <laughs> I withdraw my motion. There's a motion by Representative Babson to approve 128, five. Is there a second by Representative okay. by Knox? Okay. 128, five for the farm income. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? We got that. Let's go to the maintenance income. Move 20,000. There's a motion by second. Representative Chandler to approve. Is there a second by Move that yep. All those in favor of 20,000 say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Uh, interest income? Move 60. Second. Move 60. The move Representative seven. Chandler wants to move 60,000, not 70, right? Representative Chandler? You want to We're decrease 70. that? Oh, 70, right? 70, 70 is 70. 70. So you got two, you doing them both together? Yeah. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. 70 is okay. okay. I thought you, you said interest income, and I And that's the, that's the top. Yeah, thing. 70 is fine. Yeah, okay. Representative Chandler moved. I just moved 60. To approve 70,000 for interest income. So all of them. Is second by Representative Schmidt? Did you do that? Yeah. Did you say second? All those in favor, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Other rate revenue? Damn. Yes, Representative, I I think, go ahead, Representative Oliver. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I, I guess there's a, a question to the commissioners to help me refresh my memory. It looks like we ended up with um, just slightly under $1.4 million in surplus of uh, last year's budget versus revenues versus expense. Just around, it was like $1,397,000. numbers I got quickly. So how much? We're putting one forty. One right, one point four. yeah, it's pretty close, so that sounds good. But my, my question is, how much is currently is still in that rainy, rainy day, day fund? fund? What do we have there? I think it's two million. I think it's yeah. two so million. That will bring it down. It'll so currently so I got three point four, and this will bring it down to two. Mm -hmm. No, this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I see what you did. You added it. Okay. So I, okay, I was just trying to uh, verify exactly how much we had in there because to see if perhaps we might be able to increase or decrease that to based on what was in the big. The surplus, quote unquote, pot rainy day fund. <coughs> but it sounds like we're going to basically keep things at a reasonable status quo, $2 million, which is slightly under 10% of our total, uh, <coughs> total expenditures. Okay. <coughs> then I will move one point. Well, well, I think we should separate these out because one of them is the bond. Mm -hmm. um, so I will move uh, $1.4 million of the surplus to reduce taxes. Is there a second? Second the motion. Representative Schmidt seconded the motion the of, to surplus to reduce taxes at 1.4. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? 
Okay. Go ahead, Representative Algren. Uh, so, next, the uh, 1.175 uh, million proceeds from bond, line 0 .085. Uh, I, I move that with the reminder that this is there two thirds vote? This should need the two thirds vote to. Is there a second? Second. Second by I, Representative Fleck. I'm sure I'll get it, but you, you can't under any circumstances think this needs two thirds. I'm sorry. What's that? This it is by the it is by the contract. This is well, contract by what by what we need. This is why we're doing two thirds. You're going to have to get a two thirds vote every time you make a bond payment on the nursing home. Well, this we is can a, kill it. This is a added. This is not the bond payment. This, this is, is moving this the is money from the, the bond to here. I understand that, but I just I, that's right. I don't care. It'll pass anyway. It's not a big deal. Oh, well, may I ask a question? Yes. Okay. Representative Umberger? With the uh, the money that we're taking out of the the bond, the one point one seven five, does this leave the million dollars still there? Yes. <coughs> isn't this, if I may, isn't this a payment on the bond? No. This is the principal. Right. Payment. It takes two thirds to make it for a payment on something else, but for the, to make an excess proceeds may be used to make payments, payments of principal on the bond. The same become due. I, doesn't require. I, I don't care. I don't know the difference. I, I think it's a difference between taking the money out of the money left over at the nursing home right. and raising it by taxes. I, fine. I mean, it may don't make a difference. Us. Wait and see what the vote is. You don't have to worry about it. Right. <laughs> That's right. McCarthy. <laughs> That's kind of McCarthy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with Representative Chandler. If you're going to use the funds for anything other than what it was originally uh, gotten for and bonded, then it takes a two thirds vote. But it, spe it states right here, absence of that, it can be used to make the principal on that bond. With it. And it doesn't, it doesn't specify two thirds vote for that yes. purpose. Yes. I, I, Go ahead, Representative. I, I think we have to get off that two thirds vote on this particular issue. The bond, the whole project was approved by the delegation at one point. Uh, the annual payments, so long as that is what we are doing. Uh, those would be appropriately approved by the delegation, not with a uh, two-thirds vote, but with a simple majority, it seems to me. So, well, I would just suggest you have reason. the vote, and then we can argue about yeah. it after if we need it. No, you may not, because I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> which, isn't, which is indeed my point. I think we'll get to two-thirds vote. Let's just do it, so then it doesn't become a question later on. Yeah, but my question is, where, and I didn't see it, where in the expenses is this bond payment accounted for? It's on page number. Okay. On the long -term debt, right? yeah. It's near to the yeah. end of the general fund. Thank you. On page 19. Somewhere, somewhere around there, sounds 18. about right. 18. Okay. If you look at 18 under 9160, uh, Mountain View Nursing Home Bond 2010, there's the 1.175 million. So, yes, if I may. Yes. Representative Umberbee, may. The 1.1 represents, <coughs> only represents how much we owe for 2012. Correct. The principal. Yeah. Interest is up under interest. See the interest mm -hmm. on the bond at seven ninety-five. So we're applying one point one seven five from the excess money on the nursing home right, to, the, to principal. the principal. Right. Correct. Okay. And so next year we will face a cost of one point one seven five for the principal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every year we'll have that. We're kicking the can down the road. We're kicking the can yes. down the road so that we don't realize how much the nursing home is costing. Exactly. Well, and if you don't like that, then take it out and we'll raise the tax rate. You choose. It's your choice what you want to do. Just think. Maybe we could vote the budget. Well, <laughs> what what you could do Just is that... You can do lots of things. Ooh. I know. Mm -hmm. 
instead of applying it all in one year, we could apply it over a couple or three years so that the tax impact that when this hits, you know, may not be as significant as it will be all in one year. Do you want to make a motion to that? Yes, all I right. will. Make a motion to that. I will move that we apply whatever half of 1.175 million is to this year. Okay, so you're going to need to make an amendment to the motion by Representative Algren, second by Fleck, that you want half, tell me what half of 1.157 is. Well, see. Under that's revenue. Yeah. This is amended by Representative Umberger. I'll have to. Well, why don't you vote? We can figure out the amount later. Yeah, right. If it passes, then we can divide it. If it doesn't, we don't have to worry about it. To one half of revenue. Anyhow. Madam Chairman? Yeah. Wait a minute. i got to get the motion before I figure out. Half, half of 1.157 1. 1. is 0. 0.575. 1575. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. One We're amending the motion by Representative Ungberger under proceeds from the bond 085 that we will um, just be 587,500. Uh -huh. Is there a second to that? Second. Second by Representative McConkey. Yes, Commissioner. And then I let me. Okay, Representative McConkey, you want to talk, and then I get to the commissioner. Yeah. If, if I um, am I, I am I looking at the wrong uh, savings here? Our last meeting, we heard that we were we it was originally thought that we were going to have a two million dollar savings. Yeah. Was it last meeting we heard that that's really closer to three million dollars? Three million. That's correct. So if whether it was uh, one point two five or whatever this number is, where's where's the rest of that money? Where, where is that? This where, money is, is this that being held on to? It's for the the one point one seven five has nothing to do with the three million left over from the bond, is it? Yes, it does. It yeah. does. Yes. Yeah. That's really my yeah. Coming my out of that okay. three million. Okay. So, can you answer Representative McConkey's question? So you want to know where the rest of it is? Yeah. Is that what you're saying the one point eight two five? Yeah. We're the amount with, originally proposed here to reduce the uh, bond was uh, one. That's the number we started out before Representative Bumberg. One one seven five. One one seven five. Correct. And if you had a million dollars set aside, let's say, for the rehab of the other building. Okay, then you got roughly 825000 left if you put in what we put into the budget as the print to pay down the principal. Okay. So I guess my question is, what what is the commissioner's plan for, if you know you have a $3 million savings, what's the commissioner's plan for that extra $800,000? It could be to put towards next year's. Okay. So Principal. Thank you. The, uh, if I might. Representative Member. Yes. Uh, the concern that I have on this is that when we go, it, you know, we, we know we have this money, and if we place it all against the bond this year, then we're going to have sticker shock the next time by the taxpayers. And what you're going to see is like we started out with a 17 percent uh, increase in the budget, mm -hmm. when in fact we can mitigate that across the county so that we are not facing in one year this huge mm -hmm. uh, tax impact. And so for me, I would rather see you know, sort of this gradual payoff. In payoff instead of going from, you know, what we have this year to the full payment. 
next year or the following year. Okay, Report 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 Is the motion on the floor for the one point? It's an amendment. The so amendment on the floor, Representative Umberger with Representative McConkie seconding, mm -hmm. is to make the one one seven five thousand to five hundred and eighty seven five thousand. That's the motion that's on the floor. We are discussing it. Representative Merrill and then McConkie. Yes, thank you. Wait till after the poll. Did you just? We're talking about the tax rate. How much does it affect the tax rate? What the, the one? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the no. Whatever it is. How much is it? Three cents per million. Per thousand. How much? Three cents per thousand. Three cents per thousand. That'll be eight hundred times three cents. We're looking at she wants to put it in half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's motion on the floor. We, Madam Chair? Yes. We okay. have the same problem with okay. surplus left over at the end of the year. We don't know what that's going to be. So that could fluctuate too, the tax rate. Right now we're putting in 1.4 because that's what we had left over, roughly, a little bit less than that. But you, if I may, yes, you, you can't change that. I don't care if you have twice as much, you can't use it. Well, you can only use what we approve right here. So if you end yeah. up with a lot more surplus mm -hmm. for in December, it's, it's not usable till the following year. That right. figure can't change. No, no, no. I got. I, I understand oh. that. But next year we may not have 1.4 million in surplus. I venture to say we will. We had a lot of revenue coming in this year. That's why we didn't have more. Excuse me. Yeah. You yeah. have separate from the nursing home money. You still have a lot of surplus over and above this 1.4 you're proposing now. This doesn't take all your surplus. Are you talking about the two million? I'm not talking about the nursing home at all. Two million surplus. Right. We have two million surplus that we try to keep from year to year. Yes. What this 1.4 is, what was left over at the end of this year. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you still yeah. have over two million in surplus. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. After yeah. this, right? Yeah. yeah. Representative Algren. Thank you. Uh, it, I was hoping maybe Kathy Gary could refresh my, my memory, but we have a time limitation as to when we can take the proceeds from the leftover money to do this. Is there a time limitation of which? Three years, I believe. From what? the point? Three years. Three from years. Completion. From completion. Yeah. Okay, so we would definitely still have next year and the year after. Yeah. September, yeah. Okay. And then... Uh, I agree that I agree, you know, somewhat with what uh, Representative Umberger is, is speaking of. I mean, you know, when the cards are out on the table, the building of the nursing home made the county tax rate go up 17 percent. That's just what it is. And last year it didn't go up because we were able to use some money. But you know, that is the the impact of the nursing home on the county tax rate is 17% and increased at 17%. That's what it is. However, and, but I'm not, I, I'm not supporting it because we're trying to hide the fact that it did increase the tax rate 17%. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is uh, provide as much relief to the taxpayers now as we can. They're hurting now. Um, you know, I, I just don't believe that we're gonna do, them in, do the, our, you know, our tax base any favors by you know, saving them, you know, this $900,000. I know we're still going to have additional money left over that's going to be injected in there. The differential is probably, with the net effects, going to be about $400,000 less this year, next year. You know, I, I, we don't know what's going to happen. I, I think this is the amount that we're allowed to do, use. I think it, it appears to be wise because there's still going to be plenty of money left over for the renovation of the nursing home annex. Um, so I, you know, I think we should give the relief to the taxpayers now. I don't. You should too. <laughs> I don't see the point of making them pay more this year, so they don't have to pay more next year. It doesn't make any sense. I have just one question. I think there's a premise. You just said that the nursing home is costing us 17 percent more, and I'm. I know that the commissioner's budget at the total. beginning, yeah. the total overall, and went was up 
when they were using the 500,000 and doing all of this, right. was up 17%. Yeah. But I don't think that the 17% no. is just basically from the nursing no. home. No. There's got to be a percentage. No, it has nothing that, to do with the but well, if I may. But your comment, what you just said, what I heard, was that you're saying the nursing home building is the, we're up 17% on the budget because of the nursing home building. That's what I heard you say. If you were saying something different, tell me. What I, did everybody it, hear yes. that? Yes. Same yes. Thing? Yeah. All right. What I'm trying to say is that if you take the 1.175 million and then you add on the interest, you get almost two million dollars that we're spending for the nursing home. And you know, in the previous year, our tax rate was. 12, you know, was the amount that we got from taxes was 12 something million. So, two million dollars, you know, if you take two million dollars and you raise it to 14 million dollars, that's a 17 percent increase in the overall tax rate. That's what the impact that it, it has. We spent two million more dollars than we, no, than we used to. You know, we used to spend 12, now it's going up to 14. That, that, there's that, that's that increase. Now, the fact that we've been able to offset it by more money to reduce taxes and whatever, the actual increase has not been that much, but no. I'm not. Okay. Representative list. Chandler. Yes, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. As much as I understand the reason for this motion, I, will, I guess I will vote against it, but my problem is that we, I guess this is, I don't know. This is two, two. We, this, We, each year we've been using a, a, a large amount of surplus. The reason I'm going to vote against this, I, I, I guess I keep hoping against hope that, that one of these years we'll actually have uh, what I would consider a reasonable budget. The amount to be raised by taxes, we keep masking it over because we use a large amount of surplus and now we're going to use a, a, an extra principal payment. So the amount to be raised by taxes will look reasonable. The fact of the matter is, the extreme increases in the budget keep continuing. And sooner or later, that's going to catch up with us because we're going to be out of surplus and we're going to be out of this other money. So I, I just, it's, it's unfortunate, but we can't seem to get a grip on what I would consider to be, in this day and age, a reasonable budget increase of 2, 3, 4, even 5 percent before we talk about using surplus. So that's my answer. So I vote against this. And, Hope to give the taxpayers a break for one more year. Representative Algren and then Commissioner Sorensen. Thank you. I, I just want to direct your attention to page 18. If you look at the interest expense for 2010, you see that the, for its line number 099 under interest expense. In 2010, that number is zero. And then in 2011, it's $829,000. Okay, and then if you look at long-term debt, 2010, MV, NH bond, the number is zero. The next year, it's $1.175 million. That's an increase of $2 million. Okay, that's what it costs. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. And it is being masked by the amounts where you, we had, we, we used a lot of money to reduce taxes. But the impact on our tax rate is 17 percent. That's what it has. Now we've been able to cover it up, not and but not the sense that we're trying to. And that's what I'm trying to put forth is that's what it costs. You know, we're able to mitigate some of that from um, the increased interest revenue that we had the first year because we had 23 million dollars in bond money. So we had a lot of extra revenue in our interest revenue. So we applied that to offset the tax rate of the extra $2 million. This year, we've got $1.175 million from, that we can use from the proceeds from that original bond to help offset the tax rate. But, you know, when you stop, min if you st when you stop mincing words, you know, our overall payment's $2 million a year. And, you know, and that's a 17% increase over the $12 million that we were using for the amount to be raised by taxes. That was that point, <laughs> but I still, I still believe that we should try to do what we can this year to help the taxpayers. 
there still will be some money next year and we'll have a better idea of, of after we spend the money on to renovate the annex you know we might split that money over the next two years but this year right now with the current economy I think we should do everything we can for this year to help the tax rate and that would be by funding it fully for that amount yes Representative Schmidt I agree with uh, Representative Auglin, and I will vote against the motion also. I think if we have an opportunity to reduce the principal by $1.175 million, we ought to do that. Uh, I'm also a little dubious of, of leaving extra money in that account that by a two-thirds vote of this delegation just might go someplace else. So given the opportunity to reduce that principal, and not that politicians ever change their mind. I really think we ought to apply that money and be done with it. We can't do it. So for that reason, I would vote against the motion and vote to support the 1.175. Okay. Are there any further discussion on the amendment we have to the motion? It's Commissioner Sorry. Madam Chairman, um, I normally don't agree with Representative Alden, Alden on everything, but I think he's right. I think it ought to be spent this year. Hopefully the economy would be better next year and the following years. Uh, I think it ought to be spent this year, the 1.175. Okay. Any further discussion from delegation members? If uh, none, I'll have the uh, clerk call the roll and we'll do this on a roll call. Hmm? This is on the amendment. Right? On the amendment, I'm sorry. Oh, the amendment, yes. the amendment by Representative Umberger, seconded by Representative McConkey. Is to have is to go five hundred and eighty-seven thousand five hundred for the proceeds from the bond to offset the yeah. okay. Representative Alden, no. Representative Babson, no. Representative Chandler, no. Representative Fleck, no. Representative Knox, no. Okay. Representative McCarthy? No. Representative McConkie? Yes. Representative Merrow? No. Representative Pettengill? No. Representative Scalia? No. Representative Schmidt? No. Representative Tregenza? No. Representative Umberger? Yes. Representative Patton? No. Two in favor, 12 opposed. Madam Chair, I'll make a motion to apply the full <coughs> amount of 1.175. We, we already got the one from Representative. We'll go back yeah. now to yeah. the original motion with uh, Representative Algren, second by Representative Fleck, to do the 1.175,000 on 085. When the clerk is ready. Can you repeat the motion? No. Okay, the motion is. Made by Representative Algren, second by Representative Fleck, to put one million one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars to what proceeds from the bond to in the budget for revenue. Okay. When the clerk's ready, she can call the roll. Oh, just do one point. Hmm? Point folks, All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed. Aye. Okay, with Umberger in the negative. Aye. Can a minute show that it's two thirds? <laughs> we don't need to show it's two thirds. What's that? Out of 14, it's 13 to 1. Okay. Umberger in the negative. Yes, Representative McCarthy. Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. I have a, I have a question for the Vice Chair. I, I heard a statement, but I could hear you wrong. But I thought I heard you say that we should disregard RSA 33-3A and, that, uh, and disregard the two-thirds vote of all members and that the funds that are left over only be used, voted on and requiring a majority vote. Is that what I heard? I don't know if you heard all of that, uh, Representative McCarthy. I simply said that I didn't believe that uh, to, to pay for the principal that uh, it was a, a two-thirds vote was required. We had already 
as a delegation or a convention approved the project and the annual payments would just simply require a majority vote. That was the point that I was trying to make. I agree with you, Representative. Um, my question is, though, do you agree with RSA 33-3 that if the money is to be spent on anything other than what the bond was for, that it takes a two-thirds majority? 